watching an LBL review. Cheers. Uh -huh. Thanks, Star. We're going to What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another Ruthless Review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Everybody like, comment, share. I got to start with you. Listen, if y'all watch the show, if y'all got the BT Plus app, listen. This episode, we get introduced to a character by the name of Lilo. Lilo pull up to the gate. So the little fake security guard, you know, whatever. He asking Lilo all these questions like, uh, you know, what are you doing here? Who are you here to see? And Lilo like, I'm here to see Tyrone. And you know, I'm 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 watching the show. I'm like, who the hell is goddamn Tyrone? Right? And so Daikon gonna bring his little glass out. And Lilo was like, man, if you don't tell him and let me up and through here, we gonna have some issues. So Daikon, hey, whenever he come, let him come through. So Lilo comes through. And Daikon, you know, he runs to go tell um, Tyrone, a.k.a. the highest, that Lilo is here. I ain't never seen light-skinned Jesus be so afraid. So he gonna tell Daikon, you know, I don't want to see him. You feel me? Go ahead and give him what he want. Da -da 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 -da. Why is he here? He, well, you know what? <clears throat> He asking Daikon why he there. And Daikon had to tell him, look, dog, how is I love you and everything. When you look into my eyes, all you see is the L, the O, the V, and the E. Um, but we going broke, so I had to call him. And the highest time I was, you know, we should have came and told me I can pray to the Raku. Look here, dog. We know that shit fake. So in order for us to keep stealing any people's money, living free, not working, we got to do <clears throat> So I called Lilo. So, like I said, the, the highest, Ty Tyrone, he ain't even the highest no more. Tyrone, he don't want to see him. So Daikon kind of step outside. Now, outside, you got Lilo and um, I think his name Oliver. The, the wannabe security officer who always in the camouflage with a little gun. Scrape pussy. We getting to him in the, in the field. He outside, Lilo talking, talking his noise to him, and he gonna tell Lilo he need to show some respect. But hold on, Playboy, you must be the first off the issue that I have. You understand? Well, the issue that I have is this. This man rolled up in here unannounced, unexpected, and you gonna tell him he need to have... I mean, listen, at once upon a time, y'all dumbasses was a part of society, so I need y'all to put y'all thinking skills together like... This must be somewhat important. That's all I'm saying. I just feel like, you know, he ain't putting one and two together. Like, and so Daikon come out, tell Lilo he's still resting. Lilo, like, man, look here, dog. I heard y'all in there talking. Either I'm going to go speak to him or I'm going to tie this bitch up. So, Dyke, I mean, you know, Tyrone come out, aka the highest, okay? And, uh, you know, he tell Lilo to come on in and tell Daikon to calm down, whoop de whoop And so, um, Lilo go up in there. And the first thing he says, I said, it's stinking. It smells like some, some, it's like some stink ass. And, and you know what? Y'all know the highest now. He loves a tight man booty hole. So, Lilo get down to the business. <clears throat> we find out this shit fake. Lilo is Tyrone's probation officer, and they have an arrangement that basically Tyrone is going to move drugs and get him women that he can pimp and get some money. And you know what, man? I was so happy for Tyler to put it because I, I, I love the twist. You understand what I'm saying? Because I know this cult situation ain't real. You understand what I'm saying? But at the same damn time, it's like I need the some, you know, some type of information to let me know. So basically, <clears throat> Lilo, like, look, if you don't start moving my drugs, you're gonna go back to prison. And so he was like, okay, you know, we'll smuggle them to Mexico with the kids. And I'm just like, oh damn. This joke is look here, Tyrone gonna make sure 
He don't go back to prison. But he, listen, prison, like men, raping men, yeah, you know, Tyrone, it's possibly right that you need to go back to prison because what you're doing out here on these streets, it ain't right. So nevertheless, the highest tells um, Lilo, you know, Go meet up with Elder Mother. We're going to bring, you know, the girls to you. And so he leaves. Daikon come back in. And he tell Daikon, don't give him any of the pure girls. So I'm, I'm going to assume that pure means virgins. You understand? I'm Listen, I'm going to assume that. And so he goes and to, you know, Elder Mother and both of the Elder Mothers over there, Marvel and Aggravating. He goes and waiting, so they bring the young lady. Her name is Joan, I think her name is. Hold on, let me check my notes. Um, uh, Joan, correct. Her name is Joan. Now, quick backstory, because you know I'm gonna go. I'm trying to keep it quick. Joan Oliver. Mm, they hunting. She pregnant, possibly. They in love, and. She's sister, I mean, elder mother's favorite or the closest one to elder mother, but she's going to be tricked off in these streets. Now, I said, you know, on the last episode, elder mother told Daikon, we need to pimp off, you know, Joan. She my closest, you know, whatever sister. And if, if, the, if the girls see her being, you know, shipped off or whatever, they'll get in line. And of course, you know, as they walk in the way, before they walk away, you know, he, he scripts them. He look at them tig old bitties. The nipples was, you know what, I'm doing too much. But he look at the tig old bitties. He starts smelling them. He like, oh, you trembling. That's turning me on. You can't stand me. You don't like me. That's turning me on. And I'm just saying, my head, boy, I tell you, boy, even the probation officers out here living, you know, you know, living reckless, living wrong. And so he takes her and as he leaves, like I said, elder mother comes out and she tells Oliver to, you know, walk with her. You know what I'm saying? To her trailer and they come out and he just, oh, he's so heartbroken. He just know, man, that man better go be that cool up, man. He just know. I'm telling you, he just know. So, anywho, speaking of Elder Mother and Oliver, early in the episode, Oliver and Joan, you know, they was walking and talking. And y'all, I, I just, for the love of me, I don't really understand why. It's not allowed for men and women to talk. I mean, if that's the case, have a male coat and a female coat. Uh, like, you know, have them separated where there's no type of interaction. You understand? I mean, I don't know. I don't get it. And so she catches them and she tells Joan to go. And she pretty much, she asked, she's like, hey, Olive, what's going on with y'all? You attracted to her? You want me? Y'all having sex? And he was like, no, ma'am. You know, you know, that's against the rock. Cool. And. You know, that's for a bit and everything that she, hey, 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 elder mother lean in her old ass and she grab that pipe. She gonna tell me, I was like, ooh, and it big too. Then she gonna say, hey, <clears throat> you think you can put that up in me? Like, you think you gonna do? And he was like, oh, elder mother, you know, that's against the raccoon. And she say, don't you find me attractive? And he was like, elder mother, you, I mean, but you're just so wise and precious. Lord, listen, I was hoping, I ain't going to even lie to you, I was hoping in that moment, that this, this, this nasty, but I, hey, I'm hoping, you know what I'm saying, she, she take him back to the room, and, hey, whoop, 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 you feel me, you know, little whoop, 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 you feel me, I'm like, hey, so, <clears throat> I do think next week's episode, you know, he going to drop some dick off in her, the mother, because she, she won him. She filled up on that man. She like, hey, you know what I'm saying? So Brian is married to Lynn, and Lynn is thinking about going and joining the cult. She at home, locked up in the bathroom, and Cynthia gives Brian a call. Cynthia, y'all, that's Malcolm's wife. <clears throat> and was like, hey, got a call from a homeboy. Basically, he let me know Lynn was in the area buying heroin. Brian go break in the bathroom, and she hides a kite. She hate him. She just want to be high. Listen, man. Listen, listen. <clears throat> I don't seen black people do some man. You, I, listen, I don't see some black crackheads. I just ain't never seen no black people. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Shoot no hammer. Like I, I look. I'm sorry. Like even the ones that did crack, like they smoked it. Like not shoot it, but but, but listen. 
I'm going to say it again. Y'all listen. Make it make sense. You don't even work. Why is you out here trying to do all these exotic drugs? Just smoke you some weed. Get you, you know, a nice alcohol beverage of your choice. It could be Hennessy. It could be 19. It could be 1942. You feel me? Get you some white. You know, <clears throat> I hate when that's black people get exotic with the drugs. We was not meant to be, you know, these dope heads. We was, li li black people don't post, li listen, I, I, I'm going too far, but I just don't like to see us doing all that, man. Just stick to the, the alcohol beverages and the marijuana. And I think, you know, that's how we get into heaven. You feel me? So, I'm going to leave that alone. So, anywho, moving on. Ruth is telling uh, Tally, like, I got to get Daikon to let me punish Zane. So she goes to the trailer with Zane and basically like, look, I'm going to get Daikon to let me, let me punish you. Just scream and holler and make it seem like you're in a lot of pain. And so this helpful said, why are you doing this? <clears throat> um, do you want to leave too? And so Ruth slapped and I'm just like, a little transparency here, Ruth. We're going a long way because at this point, I just feel like you're doing a little too much. I like you and all, but you ain't even got a plan to get up out of here. So Daikon comes in, the production roof come in behind her. Long story short, these are some freaky people. Roof scripts the girl ass out. Daikon go sit down in the chair bite there. You see the chair bite there, right? And tells him, Roof tells him, hey, get naked. He pull out his thing, you feel me? And, and, and he's jacking his thing on the roof beating her. And I'm just saying to myself, this supposed to be the punishment trailer. This, you know, this ain't the Fifty Shades or Tyler trailer. This ain't, you know, you know, this ain't what we're going to have threesomes. I mean, I'm just like, what, like, what is going on? So, for the love of me, I just, Lord have mercy. And I'm just like, this man, like, you Tyler, oh, Jesus, like, boy, listen. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all now. I would love for the have and have not to come to BET Plus or somewhere so Tyler can really write the show. You know what I'm saying? However, he, you know what I'm saying? He want to. But I mean, you know, I was just like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You supposed to be nice. You're supposed to be jacking no dang lane. I don't, you know. But anywho, I believe for the most part, um, you know, that's pretty much the highlight of the episode. Um, Really ain't too much more than the rest of it. Just a whole lot of feeling stuff. But if I left out anything, if y'all watch the show, y'all let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Everybody be sure to like, comment, and share. I'm going to holler at y'all good folks later. Y'all make sure y'all have a happy